Hi all, uh, this is another video on calculation of areas using Simpson's rules. And this is a video in the series of videos I have made on ship stability. You should have been watching all my previous videos before you watch this one. So a quick disclaimer here that please watch the videos that I have made previously on ship stability. I will provide you with a link to all those videos in the description section below. Uh, because this video assumes that you have been uh, watching those videos or at least you have a basic knowledge of ship stability uh, before you come and watch this video this video is on simpson's rules previously i have made videos on simpson's rules rule one and rule two this video combines the simpson's first and the second rule to calculate the area of an enclosed space uh, enclosed by a straight line and a curve all right so previously we made videos on simpson's rule one and simpson's rule two so you should have watched those videos uh, and this video is going to combine the two rules in some questions you have to combine the two rules to calculate the area of an enclosed space as i will show you with these two examples all right question number one you have to find the area of a transverse bulkhead which is 10 meters high whose half breadths half breadths at equal intervals are the ordinates given so for those of you who don't know what simpson's rules are they are uh, rules which are very popularly used amongst mariners as well as naval architects uh, and it allows them to calculate the area the volume and the geometric center of an enclosed space uh, by a straight line and a curve all right so for that uh, let's start so this area for transverse bucket is 10 meters high so you can see here i've made a, a rough diagram here this is not to scale so don't take the measurement seriously it's just to explain the concept to you so this is the bulkhead uh, when we say half breadth is given that means whatever area we find out using the simpson's rule we have to multiply it by two so you have to twice the area to get the total area because here only half breadths are mentioned if the full breadth was mentioned then the area that we calculate using the simpson's rule would be the total area but because uh, we are only calculating the area using half breadths um, that area is not the total area so the area we use calculating half breadth has to be twice has to be multiplied by two has to be doubled sorry to calculate the total area all right so please watch the previous videos on simpson's rule so it will make your understanding simpler now in this case of course the intervals do not allow you to apply only rule one or rule two uh, in this case you have to apply a combination of rule 1 and 2 because rule 1 is used when the ordinates uh, when there are uh, 3 5 or 7 or 9 ordinates rule 2 is used when there are 4 7 or 10 ordinates but in this case you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 ordinates so when there are 6 ordinates they don't fall under rule 1 or rule 2 so therefore the first area between the first 3 ordinates will be calculated by rule 1 in the area between the last four ordinates will be calculated by rule two all right uh, h here is of course the interval so basically h denotes uh, equidistant points along the axis or along a straight line uh, and the, so you can see h is supposed to be equidistant and they are based on the number of ordinates so you can see there are about one two three four five intervals based on the number of ordinates so then the total length or total height of the bulkhead in this case is divided by the number of intervals which in this case is five intervals because there are six ordinates as you can see in the figure so h which is equidistant will be 10 by 5 which is equal to 2 meters in this case all right so h is the length between each ordinate it's the length between each ordinate and they're equidistant all right now first area 1 will be calculated using rule 1 so the area between the first three ordinates of 10 9.3 and 8.3 will be used by simpson's multiplier for rule 1 which is rule which is 1 4 1 are the simpson's multipliers so just multiply each one of them and you get the product all right once you get the product add the products together to get the sum of products this is sum of products all right then the formula for calculating area using simpson's rule one is h by three multiplied by sum of products but because there are half breadths given and i told you you have to double the area you will multiply it by two all right because in case of half breadths you multiply the area by two otherwise this is the formula h by three multiplied by sum of products 
so 2 is there h is 2 h is also equal to 2 so we put 2 here which is h and then divided by 3 multiplied by sum of the products which we get from here will give you the area 74 meter square this is area 1 all right between the top three ordinates so this area here has been calculated as 74 meter square all right now we have to calculate the area enclosed by the bottom four ordinates so to do that we will use simpson's rule 2 so the ordinates given to us is 8.3 7.1 5.7 and 3.8 using simpson's multipliers for rule 2 if there are four ordinates we use the uh, simpson's multipliers 1 3 3 1 all right multiply each one of them when you multiply each one of them you get the products once you get the product add the products together to get the sum of products when you get the sum of products the formula for rule 2 or rather simpson's rule 2 is 3h by 8 multiplied by sum of products but because these are half breadths we will twice it or we will double it because it's half breadths all right so 2 we have 2 here multiplied by 3 by 8 multiplied by 2 which is again h this is equal to h multiplied by the sum of the products that you get here which is 75.75 meter square is area 2 all right so area 2 is this area here is 75.75 meter square so the total area of the bulkhead will be area 1 plus area 2 which is 74 plus 75.75 which is 149.75 meter square area is always in meter square just like volume is always meter cube again question number two applies the combination of simpson's rule number one and simpson's rule number two and this is a different kind of an example where the area of the tank top 21 meters long has to be found when the equidistant breadths are given in form of ordinates but these are breadths all right these are not half breadths so when the breadths are given to you that means you don't have to double the area that you find the area that you find using the simpson's rule is the total area of the tank top all right so again you can see i have drawn a rough diagram it's not drawn to scale it just provides you with an idea i have written down the ordinates in this case the ordinates are in decreasing order all right these are the ordinates h will be found or the interval between the ordinates will be found by dividing the total length of the tank top which is 21 meters by the number of intervals which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are 7 intervals so h is equal to 21 divided by 7 which is equal to 3 meters all right let's find the uh, first area so this is will be area held between the first four ordinates this is rule 2 so write down the ordinates here write down the simpsons multipliers for rule 2 when there are four ordinates you will write down one three three one then multiply each one of them you will get the product all right when you get the product add them up together add them up together and you will get the sum of products all right so when you get the sum of products simply put it in the formula for calculation of area using simpson's rule 2 so this is for simpson's rule 2 3 h by 8 multiplied by sum of products where 3 by 8 is already given h is 3 so this is h multiplied by the sum of the products which will give you the first area area 1 which is area 158.29 meter square all right so this area here is 158.29 meter square now if I want to find out area 2, this area here, so how many ordinates are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 ordinates and I'll have to use a rule number 1 for 5 ordinates. Alright, so I'll be using rule number 1. The ordinates are listed here. The Simpsons multiplier for rule number 1 is listed here as well. So 1, 4, 2, 4, 1. Multiply each one of them and you will get the product. In each case you get the product add the products together to get the sum of products all 
All right. So the area calculated using Simpson's first rule is h by 3 multiplied by sum of products, which is 3 by 3 multiplied by 141, which is equal to 141 meter square. All right. Sum of products is obtained from here. This 3 is h. All right. Once you get both the areas, that means this area here is 141 meter square. So to get the total area, all you have to do is basically add area 1 and area 2. Add the two values together that you found out and you get the total area. Alright, so this video showed how uh, Simpson's rule 1 and 2 can be used in combination sometimes to calculate the areas of a given space. This is particularly the case when you cannot apply rule 1 and rule 2 and then if you are in a fix you don't know what to do you can use a combination of rule 1 and rule 2 because rule 1 is used for uh, odd number of ordinates such as 3, 5, 7, 9 and rule 2 is used for 4, 7 and 10 ordinates but in case uh, you cannot use either 1 or rule 2 try thinking about using a combination of rule 1 and 2 alright hopefully this video was helpful for your understanding if you have any questions please write in the comment section otherwise thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching uh, my next video will be on Simpson's third rule, uh, but make sure you're watching all these videos before you watch that video. All the best with your study guys and I'll see you soon with my next video.